Okay, so I've managed to get uh, GeForce 10, 1080 Ti with PCI pass through mining at on average 720 cells a second. Equihash. Um, the reason I've done PCI pass through is because DSTM miner is the fastest miner at the moment for Linux, but it's completely closed source and relatively new. So if there was any security issues with it, you know, I'd want it to be contained into this VM. So um, a couple of the things you need to consider if you're passing through NVIDIA, especially 10, 1080 Ti. Um, I'll just switch because I've got it on the same monitor as the host. So the host is on VGA, RGB. What I did was, um, which a lot of other people have suggested, if you reverse edit or edit the XML file of the VM, so the one that you're passing through, add this statement. So KVM hidden state equals on. So basically, it makes it makes the NVIDIA driver oblivious that it's nested KVM, or it disables nested KVM, so it's it's not exactly detecting that it's using KVM, um, because apparently with some NVIDIA drivers they will they will just refuse to work if it detects nested KVM just for some reason. I've looked on NVIDIA forums, and uh, some of the NVIDIA moderators, the official you know, NVIDIA moderators suggest, oh, get a Quadro card, and who you know who the fuck wants to do that? You want to mine with a you know, you want to pass through GTX 1080 Ti, you should be able to do it. So you may need that um, hidden state, so KVM, hidden state, and then you just save that file. Another thing, um, this system I'm using, uh, I'm using Linux on the host as well, so I've still got the old GTX uh, GeForce FX 6200 as, as the head on VGA. I've got AMD cards, uh, got one on HDMI 2. And then I've obviously got the 1080 Ti on HDMI 1. So I don't want no, no view or any NVIDIA driver grabbing the grabbing the PCI cards on the host. So what I've done basically just as a quick workaround is completely disabled no view, disabled AMD FGLRX, all of the drivers proprietary have disabled. And um, what I'm doing here is I'm running the host on Visa, so just raw frame buffer Visa. So if you're going to grub, you put VGA equals 795 or whatever Visa mode you want. And I'm running here at um, 1280 by 1024. I could have a higher resolution, but just to get it working, you know, I've got it working now, so I can probably up the resolution to something else on the Visa just, just while I've got this graphics card. So you can see here um, on the host. You've got the main head, which is the 6200 Turbo Cache. You've got the 1080 Ti on PCI 2. Then on the virtual machine, if we go here, you can see it's passed through um, PCI 2. It's a bit blurred, sorry, it won't focus for some reason. But it's there, and it, you know, it passes through fine. So there is a way of doing it if you've got multiple NVIDIA cards of you know pinning the, pinning the GPU and using VFI, VFI but I, you know, I just thought a quick workaround, disable all of the um, drivers, use Visa, because I only need Visa really, you know, just web browsing and stuff, so everything else can do in the VM, pass through, and it's working fine, so if we give that focus, go to the HDMI, you can see it's mining, and it's been mining for a while. It's kind of a steady 720 at around 68 degrees C. Uh, there was one more thing to consider as well. Um, the XOR config, um, it doesn't automatically assign it to the right PCI bus. I mean, it doesn't doesn't specify PCI bus. If you run NVIDIA X settings, which it recommends, the NVIDIA proprietary driver, when you install it on the guest, on the VM, it's like, yeah, run NVIDIA X setting. Yeah. And it's supposed to do the XOR config, but what it doesn't do... Um, let me find it... Uh, um, it doesn't do this. So, yeah, you find your PCI device. So on the guest, it's actually it's going to focus PCI nine. So this this line here, this line here, bus ID PCI. That was the main thing to consider. So if you don't have that line. It's gonna just invoke X into the VM's, uh, you know, QXL or whatever graphics, VGA graphics, which is just nothing. 
um, you have to have that line and the NVIDIA driver doesn't put that automatically so you have to go into the guest um, query which PCI device it is because obviously on the host it's something else on the host it's number two it's like uh, two colon zero whereas on the guest it's zero colon nine so as soon as you've done that invoke X and then you can run the miner or run a game anything which uses the uh, 1080 Ti um, what I haven't been able to do is get it mining completely headless because it requires X wall to be invoked and then that would that would kind of activate the driver I haven't haven't been able to get it mining headless at the moment for some reason but you know it's good enough it's it's virtually headless it's more or less headless because I'm just running ISWM Lite and it's that's using next to no resources so that's just there with a little little box window and that's not really using any GPU resources you know so yeah a nice secure setup there for some proprietary software proprietary mining on a GTX 1080 Ti um, I think in the future I'm going to get a motherboard with a Celeron or something with integrated Intel graphics, Intel HD because that will be a lot easier to set up um, I think you know, if you're doing this kind of thing where you're passing through different graphics cards AMD, Nvidia and it's low power as well if you have like a, a Celeron or something and then you, you're freeing up a PCI slot as well so you know it's a win-win-win but yeah, works well glad I've got that sorted